Well, everybody, we're about to sneak up on something right now, and it is an absolutely game-changing thing for us. This is the first time we have ever accomplished this, and I really don't even know what to say. You may already notice if you're looking very, very closely, there's something through this grass, and that is a great one red deer. Now, you may notice that this does not have the same score estimate as the great one red deer that we saw in the video from like a week and a half ago. Eh, a little bit more like two, maybe two and a half weeks now as I had to continuously push this video back because of all the new map information, but hey, close enough. And that is because we left that red deer on the map and continued hunting until we got another to spawn and we got lucky enough to have it spawn in the exact same zone side by side with our other great one. At this point, I have found around 80 great ones in the like, what, three years of grinding for great ones. And I've never before been able to get two of them in the same zone, even while stacking, which is just crazy. And speaking of stacking, that is exactly how we got these guys in the same zone. When the first one spawned, we just didn't shoot it. And we kept going until we got another one to spawn. If you want to learn more about stacking or herd management or any of the methods like that that we use to get these great ones, be sure to check out the videos down in the description. We've got playlists linking to my guides and my herd management guides and stuff like that. It will teach you how to be able to get your map to produce trophies just like this. People call me a cheater all the time for using herd management because of the crazy stuff that it is able to produce when you're grinding on the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is the only grinding method so powerful in the game where the developers literally had to talk about it like three different occasions on their live stream because there were so many people that kept calling it cheating, they kept calling it hacking, they kept calling it exploiting. And time and time again, the developers came out and said, no, it's none of that. It's just a way to play. And it was an intentional way for the game to function. People just kind of discovered how to do it more insanely over time. And here we are nowadays where we've learned how to stack. We've learned how to do extreme herd management and get crazy moments like this because of it. Let me know down below what your craziest moment has been grinding for great ones, whether it's using herd management or whether it's not using herd management. You know, before these guys spook off, and before we take them down, I think it's about time we show off how we got to this point. Let's show off the discovery of both of these Great One Red Deer, because man, the first discovery was crazy, but when I found that second one, I may have had one of the most insane reactions and most insane moments I've ever had in the Hunter Call of the Wild, because I know that I will probably never be able to replicate this moment right here. Patch your legs than milk bottle. Bro, they're well bad. I'll send you a picture to on mate. Put some sunglasses on before you look at the picture, but I'll send you, mate. It's super bright, my legs are, when they're white. Thank you, sir. But because I, wear, yeah. because I wear socks and shorts, there's like, from my knee cap. Oh, great one! Like, great one! Let's... Yes! Yes! Let's go! Oh my, oh my gosh, same zone. Holy crap. There he is. There he is. Oh, that's a big rack. That's 266 to 274 on the estimate. Oh my gosh, let's go. Let's freaking go. We got Mr. Thicky. Mr. Thicky Big Male is here. What is it? What kind of great, animal? Great one, Red Deer. Let's go. Ooh. Holy. I literally just came over to hunt Red Deer because you started hunting Red Deer, CJ. Oh, I should be bear hunting right now. But I, I'm glad I went to Red Deer, I guess, because there he is. <laughs> That's crazy. So that one was 1,321 kills. Oh, my Lord. Look at that beauty. Yeah, it's a big rack if I've ever seen one. A few days later. Ah, uh, just keep going, man. There's not too much else you can do. Like, sometimes you just get a rough first grind. Um, my first bear grind was tough. It took over 8,300 kills. Sometimes you just have grinds that are rough. I mean, one of my moose grinds was like 4,500. It's just part of it. Oh, 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 yes, yes, we did it. We did it. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. No way. No way. Oh my gosh. You have to be joking. You have to be joking. Oh my Lord. We did it guys. We did it. We got two great one red deer in the same zone. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I mean, technically they're not the same group because obviously they're solos but two solos in the same zone 
Holy crap. I've never done that before. I've never been able to do that. Oh, oh my gosh. And a legendary, same run. Dude. Dude. You know, ever since we got into the hardcore grinding for great ones, we've had so many incredible moments and put thousands upon thousands of hours into searching for these great ones. And man, it's just crazy to think that not only is probably more than half of my 6,700 plus hours in the game sunk into great one grinding, but we've had so many incredible moments while doing it and had like so many different times where we've had just unmatchable things happen. And it just goes to show the more work you put into things, the more things will come out of it. You don't get this type of stuff just by shooting a few high-level animals and not shooting a few low levels. You gotta spend hundreds of hours, kill thousands of animals, cultivating your herds to get them to be as crazy as we managed to get our red deer. And it's always been amazing seeing you guys in the comments telling me that the herd management strategies work for you just as well as it has for me. And I really do appreciate each and every one of you that watches these videos and you leaves the comments and you know talks in the live streams without you guys i'd be nothing without you guys i would not be able to do this full time i would not be able to be a full-time youtuber and get to put as much time to this game as i do so for that i thank you guys and i think we're about to attempt something so insane that i'll probably never be able to do it again not only do we have two red deer side by side but i really badly want to take them both down in like consecutive order. But in order to do that, I need to get an angle where they're gonna almost line up with each other. At this point, we've spooked off basically every single red deer aside from the two great ones and this level four right here. And then there's a couple back here. Yeah, there's a few back here that we haven't spooked off either. But man, the majority of them, they have just booked it out of here. Oh no, he's moving. He's moving. I don't like that. I do not like the fact that he's moving. What can we do here? I think I know. We're going to zero to 75 and we're going to try to take a shot on this guy first. Oh no. Ah, oh, there's no way. I'm not going to get to do this the way that I wanted to. We're not going to be able to take them back to back like I wanted. Unfortunately, things just did not work out the way that we wanted it to there. However, what we will be able to do is claim this one then go reset the time and try to get the other one this is probably my favorite of the two that we had here this guy is so tight this is going to be probably my lowest scoring great one red deer ever i'm really excited to see what this guy scores 253 i think that is my lowest scoring one ever possibly that is a gorgeous red deer oh my gosh just look at how stunning this dude is that right there is the stag of a lifetime. That is such a stunning stag. Now let's go ahead and try to get the other one because we've got one more to take down. This guy is gorgeous. He's probably one of the coolest great one red deer I've ever killed, but we've got one more to take down. Hopefully that other one will score over 270. Okay, let's go ahead and take this guy down right here. He's about 327 away, so I think we can just take the shot from our little blind right here and be pretty okay i think at least we're gonna try it let's see can we get him oh my gosh we heart shot him there's no way we just heart shot him oh my gosh and there it is great one red deer number two this might be my highest scoring one ever if it's over 269 and a half i think Please be 270 plus. Ah, 269.28. I don't know if that's my biggest one ever, but that's still a gorgeous, great one, Red Deer. Man, you know, when we set out to Tiabaroa to start this grind up about, what was it, like a month ago? Three weeks ago? I think it was like a month ago. When we set out for this grind, I had told everybody I was going to make this the most insane Red Deer grind we've ever had. And considering we've already had three great one Red Deer, in about like 2,000 kills, I think we're well on our way to making this the greatest Red Deer grind we've ever had. And now for the best part of this, clicking the codex, going to hunting log, latest harvests. Two fabled spotted great one Red Deer, 
back to back, man. That is crazy. You know, I've done this with Whitetail before. We stacked, I think, four Great One Whitetail at the same time over the course of like three or four weeks of grinding every single day and finally gave up trying to get a fifth one and then we took those four. But I've never done this with Red Deer, so this was a really cool thing to be able to accomplish. Now, the big question is, where do I even put these guys? We've got so many Great One Red Deer and other Great Ones up on the walls that I don't even know where we're going to fit it. I mean... I suppose we could put them across from each other right here. Yeah, I think that's going to be the move. Gosh, that 253 has to be the coolest one that we've ever killed. I love how tight that rack is. And like compared to that one, like there's a massive difference. You can just see it. That's a huge difference in racks. So a quick scan to see what my highest scoring one is. Okay, so I do have a 271. I didn't know if I had a 270 plus, but I guess I do. Uh, I just ended up getting it a long time ago. The end of 2021, we got this guy right here. Well, everybody, we've done it. We finally, for the first time ever, and after years and years of grinding, thousands upon thousands of hours of playing the game, we finally got two great ones in the same zone. Given they weren't from the same herd, that's still something that we would love to accomplish someday if it's possible. But we managed to get two solos side by side, and my gosh, I can't believe that moment when we spotted that second one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!